What's going on, Brewtube? It's your host, Shannon Harris, aka The Brew Brother, and today we're going to be unboxing a brand new craft beer subscription service called Craft X. So I teamed up with the cool people over at CraftX Brewing to try to figure out if all of these subscription services are even worth it. You know, I tried Tavor, I tried uh, Craft Beer in a Box and so many other companies. And, you know, they do send you some awesome boxes uh, for set monthly fees or quarterly fees, uh, depending on what they got. But trying to figure out why, who is everyone teaming up with when they decide to send you these boxes. So the good guys over at Craft X, I believe they're based out of California, uh, decided that they want to start a new boxing service. So we're going to unbox it and see what it's all about. So with their subscription, each month they're going to send you 12 cans of beer. Nice cool box here. It's pretty awesome. Drink fresh. Please enjoy responsibly. You're supposed to pay a membership and you're going to get 12 cans. And they're going to have select breweries each month. That's all their information there. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. Let's you know their website. Uh, if you want to gift it, who is it from, where is it going. Let you know how to exchange, their social media contacts, all that cool stuff. So they teamed up with breweries. And I guess every month you're going to get two breweries and a total of six cans from each brewery. As you can see here in the box. Pretty awesome, pretty well packed. Um, as far as packaging goes, there isn't no bubble wrap or padding in the box, um, and it is pretty hefty. Like I said, the amount on here is like 15 pounds of cans in here, so it is pretty dang hefty, pretty heavy. Uh, it can get bumped around in transit and maybe cause some damage with leaking cans. Um, I'm not too sure who's the breweries we got here this month, but it looks like they send you a card of the breweries and the beers. So it looks like we got Inner Green Lager and L's. I actually tried their beer before. They're in uh, Moore Park, California. And we have Latitude 33 brewing out of Vista, California. I'm a big fan of Vista, California. I uh, got some favorite breweries out that way. Uh, personally had Inner Green before, but I've never had Latitude 33. I apologize about that. But maybe after I dig into this box, I'll be pretty good fans of you guys. Um, so it seems from Inner Green we got a Lagerta, which is a Mosaic Dry Hop Pilsner. And we got the Big Meat, which is a Beechwood Smoke Doppelbach. Uh, the Lagerta is 5% ABV, uh, brewed with size and Mosaic Hops, Dry Hop with Mosaic. Uh, pretty damn cool. Uh, the Smoke Doppelbach is 7.8%, brewed with Nugget and Halartu. Ops, uh, a little bit of Beechwood smoke malt, never heard of that. And they also give you suggested glassware, uh, what to drink with there too. So it looked like they suggest a Pilsner glass with Pilsner and a Steiner Tulip for the double buck. We got the Syndicate Saison from Latitude 33. That one is 5.4% ABV. Uh, Laurel and Tetanang hops. Uh, also has some rhubarb and basil added to that Saison, so that might be a real tasty treat. Also got the Blonde Cartel, which is a Golden Blonde Ale, 5.1 uh, ABV, Fugo, Halar 2 Hops, 2 Row Munich, and some glassware that I've never heard of before. So let's go ahead and take a look. So far it looks like the cans are in perfect condition. I don't see any dings, but there's a dent there, as you can see. Uh, so it definitely has a dent in the cans that could be due to transportation. Uh, it seems like all the cans are actually labeled with Craft X too. Which, uh, when I was chatting with them, they did say that uh, they team up with these breweries to make these beers specifically for the membership. I don't know if these beers are available at the brewery uh, once they are released through Craft X or if not enough people sign up for the membership, what they do with the rest of them. Don't know that all the details into that, but. Seems like it can work for them. But yeah, Craft X got the logo on it. Lets you know more about the breweries. Lets you know their social media handles. Give you a little story in behind the beers and everything. A really cool label. All 16 ounce cans, which I think is pretty awesome. Uh, everyone's is getting into the whole can haze right now. When you got breweries 
from the East Coast and the West jumping in on board. Again, there's the box, as I stated before, no real padding in the box, so that does worry me. See, I already got a hole in the box already, but that does worry me a little bit as far as transportation because, yeah, like I said, anything can go wrong, and that would really suck to have a leaking box. So as far as the membership goes, I think I looked it up. It's supposed to be 50 bucks per month or 60 bucks per month, but you pay it up front. So you buy your membership in three month increments. And with that being said in three month increments is that, so you're looking at about 150, uh, 180, depending on if it's 50 or 60, I don't quite remember, but yeah, that's what you're paying up front and you get three months. So that three months, three boxes, 12 cans uh, in each box. And I've seen on their website that they teamed up with so many different breweries, like uh, my good friends over at 32 North, uh, Home Brewing, uh, Four Sons are on there. Uh, they got a, a Wolf Creek Brewery is on there. There's a lot of breweries that they're teaming up with. So I see down the road as hopefully business pickup and the interest pickup, they might be able to get a few really good breweries on board. I don't know who, but you know, it'd be great to have like some, some Monkish or some Modern Times, Alvarado Street, you know, some good New England IPAs in there or just anybody else in there. So I'm really excited and happy to see the direction of where they decide to go. Um, I do think that the price point is a little too high up front. I, I don't know if they're going to work in a monthly subscription so you can pay by the month instead of being obligated to three months. And I don't know how to really get into a membership now because if you do go on their website, it does say that they are sold out of memberships. I don't mean if that means like they're sold out for this period, which is three months, or they're sold out overall, or if you're on a monthly basis, does it allow a certain amount of people to sign up at a certain time? So it's kind of a rush and first come, first serve type of thing. But I highly recommend y'all check them out, take a look at them. Like I said, I've never had any of these specific beers, so I can't review them just yet, but I will do some uh, beer reviews later just to see how they're tasting. And I do believe that these beers were specifically brewed for this company to help them out. So great business plan. I wish you guys the best of luck over there. And yeah, if you guys have any more questions, please feel free. Drop a comment below or reach out to CraftX. Uh, they go by CraftX on all social media platforms, I believe. Uh, and also CraftX.com where they'd be more than happy to answer any further questions you have. That is going to wrap it up for my unboxing of the CraftX uh, beer subscription service and I hope that this little bit of information will help you make a decision if this is a subscription you would like to sign up for. So hit that subscribe button, stay tuned to YouTube, got a lot more coming. Cheers!